Hello and welcome to Easy Maths. In our lesson today, we're going to look at um, loci involving chords. In previous lessons, we looked at uh, definition, intersecting loci, loci of inequalities. And therefore, today we major on loci involving chords, and it'll be a wind up of a series of lessons on loci. And so, let's begin. In our approach of the lesson today, we're going to split it into two parts. The first part is just um, a revisiting of some properties of chords. And the other one will be about trying out questions uh, about loci and relationship to chords. So the properties of chords, I have five of them. The first one, a perpendicular bisector of a chord passes through the center of a circle. That means if we bisect a chord perpendicularly, that bisector must be passing through the center of the circle. Again, equal chords are equidistant from the center of a circle. If we have two chords that are equal, they must also be equal distances from the center of the given circle. So these two principles can be said in another way. The first one, we can say it this other way, that a papadilla drawn from a center of a circle bisects the chord. That means if we have a line drawn from the center of a circle to touch a chord, it must perpendicularly bisect it. And that's why we said earlier, that perpendicular bisector must be passing through the center of a circle. So it's the same statement, only said from two different, said in two different ways. Similarly, this next one here, this our second point can be said that chords equidistant from the center of a circle are equal. That means if we have two chords, that are equal distances from the center of a circle must also be equal in length. The fifth point, if we have um, a chord, uh, two chords, A, B, and X, Y, intersecting as it is implied in a screen there, and we have a distance small A here, we have another distance small B, we have another distance small X, another distance small Y, these two chords intersect at P, then for any two chords intersecting this particular way, a times B, that is this distance times this other one here, must be the same as this distance X times this other distance Y. This principle is arrived at by using the knowledge of similar triangles that is um, um, taught in an earlier topic before this, and so you can always refer to that. We have some similar triangles which can be used to deduce or derive this formula, that A times B should be equal to X times Y. Why? And this is true for all two chords which intersect within the circle in this particular manner. Having said that, therefore, we get to we go to the first question. We are told a chord AB of a circle is four centimeters. Draw the locus of points equidistant from A and B. Choose one point at the center of the circle through A and B. How many such points can you choose? As we begin, we have the chord AB, which is four centimeters. The second sentence we are told, draw the locus of points equal distances from A and B. That means we're going to draw a perpendicular bisector to the line AB because that perpendicular bisector will be a set of points or a locus of points which are equidistant from A and B. And therefore, let's begin by bisecting. So we stand at B, opening a compass, a radius that's bigger than half the distance AB, you will make an arc like that. Using the same radius of your compass and starting at A, you'll make the other arc like that. And join, join where the two arcs intersect. You get this red line here. So P is a locus of points equal distances from A and B. P is a perpendicular bisector of AB. Any point along this line is equal distances from both A and, and B. If, for example, P is here, a, P, and P, P are equal. If P is here, A, P, and P, B are equal, and anywhere else in the, in the line. Um, as we go to the second sentence, we're told, choose one point at the center of the circle through A and B. Let me say this, that angles, sorry, any point of the perpendicular bisector can be center of the circle through A, B. So any point chosen to be center of a circle, any point along this line, perpendicular bisector, can be a center of a circle such that circle will touch A and B. So long as the radius is from that point center to A 
which was from that point to be and therefore if that point was say where the two lines intersect here the circle will be that way and therefore AB will actually be a diameter of the circle P could also be ab 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 on this side up here such that you have a circle like that you see it's a bigger circle but it still, it still touches A and B and anywhere else on that direction but also you could have it below here such that we draw a circle like that and therefore any point on this particular bisector can be the center of the circle through AB and I think that's clear the last question was how many such points can you, cho can you choose as I've said P is perpendicular bisector of AB and those and any point there can be a center of a circle through AB that tells us that there are infinite such points and the answer is just that straightforward let's go to another question we told that uh, a circle with radius with center O and radius 6 centimeters has a chord AB 3.5 centimeters long so draw the locus of points equidistant from A and B measure the distance between A and O and AB and use it to construct another chord CD equal in length to AB and therefore we begin it this way we have the circle with the radius is 6 centimeters the circle center is O marked with this black dot alright therefore the first thing we told is um, draw the locus of points equal distance for A and B AB is a chord which is 3.5 so let's just draw it then I think there's no there's no there's no way there's no skill in drawing that just use your ruler and draw a line that is 3.5 centimeters on such that it touches the circle on two points like a and b like indicated on your screen there but this is the point we are told to draw it means you use geometrical instruments to do that so to draw a locus of points equal distance from a and b it means we're going to perpendicularly bisect a b and therefore standard a opening your compass a radius as bigger than half the distance a b you'll make this arc using the same radius standard b and make another arc like that joining where the two arcs intersect you will come up with a line like the one that has been dropped on your screen there and that line really goes on to pass through the center of the circle and this confirms our first point that an ang a line that perpendicularly bisects a chord passes through the center of a circle or a line from the center of a circle touching a chord will perpendicularly bisect it and therefore it's observed on your screen there we told to measure the distance between O and AB. Therefore, the shortest distance from O to the line AB is the perpendicular distance from O to AB, which is 5.7 centimeters, according to me. Please ensure that you draw and measure and see what you get. For me, it's 5 centi 5, sorry, 5.7 centimeters. We now told to use it to construct another code CD equal in length to AB. Now, this is what we're going to do. We're going to draw a chord that is same length as this. Therefore, according to the second point, that chord must be 5.7 centimeters from the center of the circle. So let's have a set of points which are 5.7 centimeters from the center of the circle. And that set of points which are 5.7 centimeters from the center of a circle are just another circle within this other one, which is just 5.7 centimeters in radius. The first one was 6, centi six centimeters. This is 5.7 centimeters radius so any point here if you draw a tangent to this circle at any point you could name that tangent where it touches the original uh, original circle at two points you can name it CD this way this distance here is a radius of 5.7 so if you draw a tangent to the inner circle touching the outer one this way the line C D is equal in length to AB. It's also 5.7 centimeters from the center of a circle. And therefore, the point is brought home. If two chords are equal in length, they are equal distances from the center of a circle. And if two chords are equal distances from the center of the circle, they are equal in length. And that's what this question really is testing. And having that said, we are finished with that. And, but remember that you could draw as many chords as possible. CD could be anywhere. It is just anywhere, so long as not uh, where the exact point we have AB. It is anywhere, a tangent to the inner circle touching the two, the outer circle. We go on to another question. Now, two chords A and AB and CD intersect at O. If AO is two centimeters, OB is five centimeters, CO is one. Find OD. Hence, construct two chords and uh, 
the two chords and draw the local points which pass through ABVD, Katle, the area of the region are closed by the, the locus. Um, according to the fifth point I said at the beginning of the lesson, here we have a chord AB intersecting CD, and then you have AO is 2 centimeters, OB is 5 centimeters, CO is 1, then OD will be easy to find since we just have AO times OB should be the same as CO times OD, and therefore that's what I have here. AB a times b is equals to x plus y and therefore just multiplying that you get 2 times 5 is 1 times od and therefore od is actually 10 centimeters and i have the chords intersect how they intersect and draw them over there for you so please notice that ao is 2 ob is 5 co is 1 and and od is, is 10 and therefore let your chords intersect that particular way because we're told Construct the two chords. We have done it there. Ensure that uh, AB is 7 centimeters, CD is 11. This is 7 because we have 2 plus 5, the other one is 1 plus 10, therefore it's 11 centimeters. Now, we are also told draw the locus of points which passes through the points ABCD. Now, that set of points which passes through the points ABCD is a circle which is constructed such that ABCD are on the circumference. So to do that, we're going to draw a circle which simultaneously has the points A, B on the circumference and C, C and D again on the circumference. The points A and B are ends of a chord and C, D are also ends of a chord. That means this is just a set of circle which is so uniquely placed such that C, D is a chord to that circle and A, B is a chord. To do that, we're going first of all to bisect the line A, B. So bisect the standard A, open a radius that's bigger than half the distance AB, make that arc on your screen. Using the same radius, standard B, make that other arc, and you join where the two arcs intersect. And stand at a D and open your radius, greater than a distance that's greater than half the distance CD, you make that arc there. Using the same radius, standard C, make another one, and join where the two arcs meet. The point where the two perpendicular bisectors of A, B, and C, D intersect is M, and that is the center of the circle such that A, B, C, D are on the circumference, and there it is. So to just come up with uh, this drawing of a locus of point which passes through points A, B, C, D, you're supposed to bisect A, B, bisect C, D, where the two bisectors meet, that's the circle center, and therefore you'll draw a circle with the radius. M, D is the same as M, B is the same as M, A is the same as M, C. Going on to the last part, we are told to look for area or the region enclosed. So area is just pi r squared since the area of a circle. And um, the radius is 6. So put the value 6 in the formula and you just operate. The answer will be 113.1 centimeters squared. Hey, that brings us to the end of our series of lessons on uh, loci. Please check out the next series. It will be, I think, um, this coming week on linear programming and please like share subscribe i would like to have your comments as well